Is it easy to only remove the item restriction for very hard? Yes, it's very easy. And in today's video, we're going to be over how to edit tables for Soul Hackers 2. Tables are files which contain information on different aspects of the game. It can be anything ranging from skill information, their cost, their power, demon stuff, so their race, base level, what skills they learn at each level. And there is also a table for difficulty parameters, so how each difficulty affects the game. These tables are located in an asset bundle called Common Table. Unfortunately, this asset bundle is encrypted for whichever reason. So we are going to need a few tools in order to edit this file. First, you're going to need SH2 file utility. This will allow us to decrypt all of the encrypted game assets. The encrypted game assets are all of the asset bundles in the message folder, so text stuff related to cutscenes, the common table, so the file we are trying to edit, and version.txt, which for modding purposes is irrelevant. Once the file is decrypted, you are going to need UAVE Avalonia. This will allow us to open the asset bundle, see what's inside, extract the parts we need, modify, repack, and save to use in the game. And then, with the files that we do extract, we're going to need to modify them with something like Notepad, although regular Notepad is fine. Any text editor will do the job. So, first we need to get the file. We go to Steam, and the first step is to verify that the tables we have are the vanilla tables. It's very impractical to work on files that have already been modified because there can be residual modifications that you don't want in your project. So you go to Properties, Installed Files, and you click the button to verify the integrity of game files. This will automatically check for any modified files in your game, and it will replace them with the vanilla original files. Once that's complete, you go and browse the local files for the game. The file we want is in Soul Hackers 2 Data, Streaming Assets, Win, Table, Common Table. It has no extension, it's just a basic asset bundle file. We're going to copy it and we're going to put it next to our file utility exe. We're going to want to open CMD. Once CMD is open, you're going to want to direct CMD to the file utility exe. We drag it in and we write the command crypt. We then drag the file we want to decrypt and then we specify an output. A simple way to specify an output is simply just dragging it back into CMD and then adding .dec to the end of the output's file name. You press enter and it creates this decrypted copy. This decrypted copy can then be opened with UAVEA. You open it and then it asks you if you want to decompress it to file or memory. The file is only 3 megabytes large, so you can press the decompress to memory button as it's small enough that it won't cause an issue. You press the info button to see a full list of everything that's inside this asset bundle. You can sort by name, and because we want to change the difficulty parameters in the game, we're just going to look for difficulty table, which we can then export as a dump. We're going to want to save it as a JSON. Once it's saved, we can open it in Notepad++. And as you can see here, we have all the information for every difficulty in Soul Hackers 2. It's organized from easy all the way up until the highest difficulty. So we have easy, normal, hard, very hard, and then the unused, undeveloped, ultra hard difficulty which has the same parameters as very hard. We want to edit very hard, so difficulty 3. We're going to look through every parameter in difficulty and see what they do. The retry type is related to the original flame. Does the game go straight to the main menu or does it let you revive? These four values here, I've never tested, <laughs> but um, they are most likely related to the original flame as well. Uh, this one, I have no idea what it does. 
And this one's only set to one in the very hard difficulty. Uh, this one here is the one that we actually want to edit. This makes it so that you cannot use items in the difficulty. But if we set it to zero, it no longer disables items. This is the parameter for the multiplier for how much damage the player deals, which in the case of very hard, it's 0 0.5. In the case of uh, the regular hard difficulty, it's 0 0.8. So you can see from looking at the numbers that very hard and hard, even without the item restriction, are not the same difficulty. M Reflect PC uh, is the same for all difficulties, meaning that it never was used, and it determines the multiplier for reflect, uh, reflect, repel damage. Sabbath damage is a multiplier for damage dealt by the Sabbath. Weak damage and critical damage are self-explanatory. They go for both sides. So in the case of something like Persona 5 Merciless, it would be three for both of these values. And then you have the same for the enemy, damage dealt by the enemy, and reflect damage dealt by the enemy. Then you have bad status, which is the chance of afflicting an ailment, and it seems that this only uh, affects the enemy's side. So it's the chance of an enemy afflicting an ailment on the player. M escape is related to the chance of escaping an encounter. Sneak and surprise are related to the chance of ambushing an enemy or being ambushed by an enemy. EXP ratio is how much XP you get from a battle, although the exact formula isn't sure as it's 0.25 on all difficulties except easy, where it's 0.5. Max enemy speed, or map enemy speed, is the, is the speed at which demons chase after Ringo in the overworld. It's 1.0 in all difficulties except easy, where it's 0.8. If you change this to a really high value, as soon as demons find Ringo, they'll chase after her at the speed of light. Heal ratio is how effective healing is in the game. Uh, the value is the same for all difficulties, meaning that Atlas didn't touch it. And MP ratio is a modifier for the MP cost of skills. You can see that on the easy difficulty it's reduced by 50%, but it's otherwise unchanged in every other difficulty in the game. And hit ratio PC is the accuracy of skills for the player. It's 100 in every difficulty, with the exception of easy, where it's doubled. For the purposes of this video, we only want to enable items. So we just change disable item to zero and we save our file. Once our file has been changed, we go back to difficulty table in the asset info window and we import a dump this time. We change our file type to JSON so we can find it and we import it. Once it's been imported, we can see that there's a star here that says that it's been modified. So we just save it. Now that we saved it, it asks us to exit the window and save it again in the main bundle window. Going to the main bundle window, we can see a little star here. This means that the file is modified, but not saved. So we will save it once again, and now we can close UABA. We can see here that commontable.dec now has a date modified that is equal to the current time. We're going to open CMD again, and we're going to do the crypt command, but in reverse. You drag file util over to CMD, and you type in crypt again. You drag in the decrypted common table file and then the common table encrypted file that you want to modify slash replace. But then you need to specify that you are encrypting a file. So you need to type dash M space asset enc. This specifies that the mode you want to use is asset encryption. And you're done. The file is encrypted. You can now copy it and go to the game files and you can replace it. We can now open Soul Hackers 2 to test our changes. Now that we're in Soul Hackers 2, we can open up the menu and go to System and Config. We can go to the gameplay settings and check that we are in the very hard difficulty. We now walk around and look for an encounter. As you can see, the option to use items is enabled. So we press this button, and we can see all the consumables, which we can use. In my case, I can't use anything because I'm full HP, and the only item I have is the original flame. I played the game in very hard, so I sold all my stuff. But it shows that we can now use items in the very hard difficulty, which was the objective for this video. You can look around the common table file 
and find any table with stuff that you would like to edit. For example, some stuff that you might want to change is stuff related to skills. So skill table would have all of the parameters for skills, their damage, their element, stuff like that. Or for example, if you'd like to change demon related stuff, the table would be uh, Nakama table. This contains all the information about demons. So for example, if you'd like to change the affinities of a demon or make it so that they natively start with different skills, for example, a four element Anubis with Persona 5 Royal affinities, you can do that. It's up to you to experiment and see what you can edit in Soul Hackers 2. Have fun modding the game.